seen a trend of centre backs taking goal kicks? Well, let me explain. If the goalkeeper takes the goal kick and plays the first pass into one of the centre backs, it becomes much easier for the opposition to force play one side. As we can see above, the forward will curve his run, force the centre back one side, and the opposite forward will lock onto the pivot player. And we end up with a build up scenario where there's no overload created, no space to step into, and it makes it much more difficult to progress play through the thirds. However, if one of the centre backs takes the goal kick and plays their initial pass into the goalkeeper, we now create a problem for the pressing team in that should they press the ball carrier, in this case the goalkeeper, we end up getting a free player elsewhere. Two examples of this are, if one of the forward presses the goalkeeper, the ball carrier, and the other forward decides to sit on the pivot player, there's an opportunity to play into the left centre back who can then go and step into the space. And the second example shows the sitting forward getting a little bit closer to the left centre back and we actually find a little bit of space for the pivot player who we can use as a bounce option for the goalkeeper to play direct into and then out to the right centre back who is now the free player. We've created an overload, we've created space to go and step into and build up the